I got a promotion. Oh, you come over here, and I'm... Congratulations, human. Crap. Ah, ah, that's my ceiling. Ah! Damn you, virtual hat, for hurting my unvirtual hand. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Job Simulator. And for today's episode, it's Black Friday. You know, that time of year where two grown adults will fight to the death to save 20% on a coffee machine? <laughs> when in reality, they could just take mine for free! You don't need to curb stomp a child in Walmart, just please, anybody, take him for the love of God. <laughs> and of course, this is the worst time of year to be in retail, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm kinda surprised that our midnight opening isn't more... active. No, usually you would have a stampede of people coming in, they would be crushing each other to get a, a box of cereal, or... I don't know, I guess your autograph? Are you for sale? Do you think we could unload you? Because I could really use a new machine. <laughs> you got scan lines on your face and uh, a little bit of leakage on your... chin? Not really sure. Tweakbot, do you know what really grabs people's attention late at night? And it's not a coffee, okay? Coffee is what keeps people's attention. What grabs people's attention is fireworks and nudie magazines. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. This is what we need to do, okay? We have to direct people's eyes off the road and to our great discounts on uh, single bananas, unrefrigerated ice cream, water. I work with what I'm given, okay? Just trust me on this. Fireworks could sell snow to an Eskimo. This is going to be amazing. Send it. Hopefully this isn't a fire hazard. Yeah, there we go. And I think those should burn forever. So we should have a great display. People are gonna come flooding in here one at a time as I pull a ticket. That That's usually how it works, right? <laughs> Will you stop? It's only midnight, we just started. Hey, What's life without soda bottle? Whoa. I didn't think things were gonna get so deep at the beginning of the episode. I don't know, what is life without soda bottle? Well, my little floating philosopher, I've got an even deeper question for you. What is life without Tweakbot wearing a silly sun hat and glasses? Fortunately for you, because it's Black Friday, those are both 100% off, as in you have to take 100% of them off. There we go. We can just... Um... Tweakbot? Is gravity 50% off today? Because I, I don't remember that being in the flyer. How about you just hang out over here like my invisible security guard? <laughs> I asked for added security tonight, okay? I don't care what the sign says. If you're gonna shoplift, please let us know. People are not gonna let us- I I'm sorry, man. I, I don't mean to bring this on you, okay? I know you just want life with a soda bottle. I, I, I can do that, right? Actually, we found out last episode that if you shake up a soda bottle, pretty much goes haywire, so I I'm curious how that works with the zero gravity. <laughs> the answer is very well, okay. I, I know what you're thinking, right? That that's all over the floor. Trust me, the floors can't get any worse. You better have a good grip on this, ma'am, because it's gonna go all over the place. You would think after doing this a dozen times, I would remember that you need to first do that. There we go. Can you get me a jumbo energy drink? Jumbo energy drink. I can do that. You know what? I should be jumbo sizing everything as part of Black Friday. That would make a whole lot of sense. So we'll, we'll grab one of you and uh, we'll, we'll jumbo size you. And, and you know what? I'm even going to give you the, the super red. Ver I, I need. I didn't give that to you. Okay. I'm well aware that I need to do this first. There we go. I found this coupon outside. It's all mushy and gross. It's pissing rain out. Some hobo probably uses to wipe his arsehole. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. Black Friday coupon. Um, hit three buttons. There you go. And... Hmm. This product isn't worth the money I have to pay. I'd rather pay half. You would rather pay half because you don't think it's worth it. That's not really how sales work. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't just walk up to a place and be like, yeah you know what, it's not worth it. Here's half what you want, but here, that's exactly how it works. Have a nice day. Shove it up your butt sideways. Okay, well, that was pretty good for a, uh, first customer. Keep forgetting that we don't have gravity. 
<laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is under control. You just hang out over there. We'll bring in... Oh, boy. Yep. The fireworks are working. Here we go. Here's the rush. This one's clearly going to stampede over this one. Those newer bots are just here killing time before they have to start their jobs. If they're not going to buy anything, they aren't allowed to hang around the store. Can you get them out of here? Who the hell are you? Why does he think he can tell me what to do? Sorry, gentlemen, you guys heard the random stranger. Apparently, you need to get the hell out if you're not going to buy anything. <laughs> Didn't think that was the case, but... I got a promotion. Oh, you come over here and I'm... Congratulations, human. Crap. Ah, ah, that's my ceiling. Ah. Damn you, virtual hat for hurting my unvirtual hand. <laughs> I just uppercut my ceiling fan as hard as I could. This is your fault. Okay, you were supposed to wear the silly hat as part of the promotion. You couldn't even do that. If I bring in another customer and they don't buy anything because of your lack of hat, I I'm gonna lose my mind. See, he has a hat. You're building a deck? Is that what you said? I can't hear you over the droning country music. We really need to do something about that. But you're building a deck and you need to prepare with fireworks. That's the first time I've heard that. I will be taking this because, again, hats are 100% off today, so you got to take them all off. Uh, I do have fireworks. I kind of wanted to hold on to them for promotion purposes, but uh, I guess the customer's always right. Oh, you didn't want this super size, did you? Well, now you're going to have a super fun deck. Just you wait. And in the bag it goes, kind of. Slushy. Before I can get back to work. Slushy. Back to work doing what? Firework decks in the middle of the night in the rain? <laughs> you people confuse the shit out of me. With gravity half off tonight, sir, this will be just a second. There we go. Okay, and uh, swipe. I'm remembering in the bag. <laughs> you wanted your slushy in the bag, right? And then, uh, boop. 1098. All right, bring me up, human. My name isn't human. I I'm wearing a tag. Trust me. I, I can't see it right now, but that that's very rude. Oh, no. Wait a second. My name tag probably does say the human. I, I apologize, sir. That that's really I more management's fault. <laughs> There's a reason nobody ever buys anything on the shelves. Have you ever seen anybody pick something off the shelf? Yes. This Perfect. Is a winning ticket. What do I get? What do you get? Well, you get 100% off all hats. I've been telling that to everybody today, so I'll be taking this and uh, keeping it a little bit lower this time around. <laughs> now, you are entitled to... Um, just a second. I got an idea. We're going to work a little zero-G wiener magic for our lottery winner here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and then we're going to go to the Jumbotron and make a, a giant hot doggy mess. Okay, can you please, please just get the hell out of the way? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to supersize our wiener. There we are. I, I know you're into that. And then we're going to put you in here. We're going to place you there. And then we're going to supersize it again. <laughs> So now, we have an extra, extra big wiener. Can we continue doing this? Oh, no, it goes back? Oh, that is just the... Wait a minute, hold on. Ah, I was so close. I thought I broke the system. I'm giving you the best of the best, ma'am. Just you wait. You're going to get a $4 million hot dog in no time. A little ketchup, a little mustard, uh... Little butt medicine. There we go. That's the stuff. Here you are. That that's your lottery winning. You you can take it now. You think she likes it? Here you go. Half gone. Now just take the rest of my jumbo wiener in your mouth. You know you want to. Oh, I'm supposed to do this first. Then. Have a nice day, night, whatever. Okay, that kind of worked out, and now we get ourselves a, a jumbo-sized winning lottery ticket, and a silly hat, and a bunch more wieners. Win, win, win. 
I'm gonna try something real quick, and I don't know if it's gonna work, but I, I really just want to, whoop, and then go, 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 go. Oh, it stops. <gasps> Thought we would have had a way better display there if we could have an endless waterfall of soda. That, that would definitely attract people. So some things work, other things don't. It's a learning process. It's not like we have any customers to disappoint or anything like that. Hello, little girl. Does up this late ever make you want to shop? I definitely bought this grapefruit here yesterday, but it doesn't go with my personality. Can I get a refund? Those pigtails don't go with your personality either. <laughs> I am incredibly confused. So you want a, a, a refund for the moldy grapefruit that you bought. We have a lot of random crap on the shelves, but I don't think grapefruit's one of them. Do we offer refunds in the holiday season? Are you awake right now? Don't worry about him, okay? Customer satisfaction is at the top of my priority. We do offer a 100% refund on all random moldy garbage that wasn't actually bought here. But to do that, you have to bring it over to our refund machine. And then that should provide you with the necessary funds to have you on your way. Was it not enough? I, I mean, we can we could try again just to see. Yeah, okay, so th there's a little bit more that that's gonna be a, a real fat stack of refunds over there. Are, are, are you sure that's not enough? <laughs> I think we found a loophole in the system. I can't actually get over there to get any of this money, so you and I are gonna have to be in on this together. I'll keep doing the throwing, and you'll keep staring into my soul, and eventually, I'm guessing we're gonna make out like bandits? I'm, I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna pan out. <laughs> I mean, that might be like five cents that is dispensing, okay? I, I don't really know how the money works around here. How's that? Good? Uh, and then, uh, mm. oh yeah, it's it's worth a penny. Great. So that was, um, I don't know, like 30 cents that's floating over there? Are you good? I like money. You, apparently not. There's a whole whack -a load of it just floating over there. I, okay, bye. See you later. I seriously hate people. You know that? It just... You count. I'm sure people will see the display and not the person behind the counter chucking bud medicine, okay? This is fine. Hi, what can I do for you? Hey, human, I had to stop in. The shop is so convenient. I need to buy... Candy bar. Candy bar, okay. We haven't sold candy bars in, uh, ever. The manager over there is telling me the candy bars are also half off, so, um, you get half of the candy bar taken off. There we go. Anything else? I need... Hot dog. But like a really big one, like huge. Really big, huge hot dog? That's something I can do. Again, they don't really mention anything about toppings or garnishes or anything like that, but I just assume the butt medicine is a universal appreciation. <laughs> Why does it go on so thick? <laughs> it's like toothpaste. There we go, a whole tube of toothpaste, actually. Mm-mm. Good for the tum-tum. Yeah, still good, right? Why do people think Black Friday coupons mean a shit? It's just, this is unacceptable. <laughs> okay, yep, and uh, pressing, pressing buttons. See, half off, half off, everything is half off. 392. Here, please accept this rectangle. I will, thank you very much. You have a nice day now. Oh, you're gonna get a whole lot of happiness out of that, trust me. There's, there's a whole cow in that hot dog and probably quite a bit of raccoon. No, 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 sh 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 okay, I, I don't care what you have to say. You can't taste the raccoon. I refuse to believe it. Now stop interrupting me and just go back into floating sleep mode with those cold, dead eyes of yours, okay? We got one more customer and then you're putting on the silly hat and I'm not gonna punch my damn ceiling again. Aren't they? Oh, yep, here we go. Okay, we got another rush. Maybe, possibly. Is this a silly hat convention? What the hell is... Don't you tell me what to Those do. Those used to beat me up in middle school. Can you throw stuff at them for me? I'll be watching from outside. Here's the plan, guys. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna beat them up. We don't accept bullies in this store, so you guys are gonna have to get hit with giant bricks of frozen meat. This will surely get the job done. There we go. And how about a nice big frozen burrito to top? Everything needs to be big, okay? Everything is big here on Black Friday. Hey, right through the hat. Didn't expect that. Uh, how about a coin? Would that work? Hit. Why? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Prepare, prepare. There we go. 
Get over here. Come on. Thank you, Kate. But nothing is sweeter than a promotion. Have that instead. Nothing is sweeter than a promotion. Or that stupid hat on your head. <laughs> you look wonderful. Oh, just wonderful. <laughs> Human associate manager. Not bad. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Job Simulator, guys. And I actually got the idea for this episode from the comments of last episode. So if you guys have any more random scenarios or challenges or just things that you'd like to see in Job Sim for me, then be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll check them out soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.